Hello, I'm here with James at AWE. Uh, we're in the new AWE reference cinema uh, and we're going to talk about some of the upgrades. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. So we've installed some Bowers and Wilkins speakers. Yep. Uh, we've got the Euroscreen screen. Tell us a bit about it. Okay, so we'll start with the screen. So we've actually got a four metre wide uh, Euro screen. This is using the Flex white material, so it's a standard white gain of one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in CinemaScope or 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio, but we can also, with the projectors, we can change the image size so we can do a 16 by 9 image or a 2.35 image just at the press of a button. Mm -hmm. um, the big headline change in here, as you mentioned, mm. is the Bowers and Wilkins speakers. So uh, our front sound stage is using the uh, custom Inwall 800 series, right. and they are very similar to the 800 Diamond series big floor standing speakers from Bowers and Wilkins that yeah. you find in studios like Abbey Road, um, where they actually mix and master the big uh, orchestral pieces for uh, major movies yeah but so you're getting all of that kind of sound but in an in-wall box so it's using the same diamond tweeters mm -hmm. it's using the same continuum drive units and that's all in there so our front left right and center are the uh, custom in-wall 8.3s mm -hmm. or the ciw 8.3d so they are about so big okay and then to actually get full bass response from them, they come with a, a large back box, so that's even bigger, so that yeah. sits about so far inside the wall, but the actual speaker, if you could see it, is about that kind of height right. in there. And then for the surround speakers, we're using a slightly smaller version, which is the 8.5D, uh, so they're still the Diamond series, so with the uh, Diamond tweeters, continuum drivers, exactly the same, just a bit smaller, and they also have a, a back box, which is slightly larger, that you put inside the wall. Sure. Um, to match that, we've got six in ceiling speakers, mm -hmm. and they are all uh, again that 800 Diamond series, and they again have custom back boxes. It's almost like having floor standing speakers yeah. in the wall or in the ceiling because yeah. you've still got the volume of that back box. So it's an absolutely stunning sound, and they yes, match yeah. perfectly with the standard 800 series speakers that you would yeah. find in those studios. And it's a seven point? So, yes, yeah, so we are running seven speakers at ear level. Yep. We are running four 15 inch in wall subwoofers and then we're running six speakers in the ceiling. So a 7.4.6 speaker configuration. Okay, excellent. So let's talk about the projectors. You've got two Sony projectors in here. Yep, Tell us that, about those. That's right. So we've got uh, the Sony VPL VW790. So mm -hmm. that's a laser model. Yeah. It uses their SXRD chips, so that's actually three chips in there, one for red, one for green, one for blue, and that is native 4K. So you actually get 8.8 .8 million pixels displayed on wow. screen all of the time. So wow. what you'll find with uh, other projectors that say that they are 4K, they actually use a form of pixel shifting with yeah. a, a, a panel that's got less pixels, where this we are literally displaying all of the pixels all of the time right. and all of the colours. So with the 790, it's laser. Mm -hmm. So advantages of laser over lamp is you get, say, 20,000 hours of life, where a lamp-based projector, you'll get about 2,000 hours until you drop to half brightness. So we're talking 10 times more life. Wow, okay. So really, that's sort of um, TV lengths of life yeah. out of the laser itself. Um, other advantages with laser is you can do total blackout. You actually saw when I gave you the demo a little earlier, when it goes to complete blackout, there is nothing displayed on screen. Yeah. A lamp-based model, however much you can close those pixels off or, or shrink down the uh, iris, mm -hmm. you're still going to get a little bit of spill of light. But yeah. here, where there's nothing on screen, that laser can switch off and it looks absolutely stunning and complete blackout. Yeah. And because it's laser, it can instantaneously turn straight back on again, so you get that full brightness image there. Mm -hmm. And also in dark scenes, you can turn the laser down a bit, so you actually have less light coming through on the image. Okay, excellent. And you've, obviously you've got an upgraded version to that as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so the 790 is a single laser model. The other yeah. projector we show in here is the GTZ380. Now that actually uses three lasers. So you're looking at about 2,000 lumens from the 790, mm -hmm. where we get 10,000 lumens of brightness out of the 380. Big difference. A big difference. Now that's on this size screen, this is probably the smallest you'd go with that kind of brightness, but yeah. you can go up much bigger once okay. you're up to these 10,000 lumens. So you can do really big home cinemas with it. Mm. Um, the joy of using the three lasers is you get much more brightness. But the other thing we can do is we can hit the full DCI-P3 color space. Yeah. So that's more colors than you would get from your standard 709 color space. 
at full brightness. Right. So other projectors would use a colour filter that bring that in front so to produce the uh, DCI P3 colour. What that does is it reduces the overall brightness of the projector right. by quite a substantial amount actually, where yeah. this, they actually use a dark red laser as well as the other lasers in there. So they can produce all of these colours without any loss of light because they don't have to put any filters in front. So we actually get that full 10,000 lumens of brightness mm. and the full colour space. Yeah. And it really makes a difference. I mean, you, yeah. gave, us a, you gave us a de demo earlier, and it's night and day between the two projectors. It's, yeah. it's incredible. That brightness difference. You know, if you don't see them back to back, the 790 is an absolutely, absolutely. stunning projector. Yeah. But for that additional brightness, if you're going for that bigger screen size, the GTZ 380 is you know, on our screen size, we're actually getting sort of TV levels of brightness. I was going to say, it's really useful for um, people who might have the, you know, lights up, for example. Yeah, so whether it was sports viewing yeah. or you are doing kids' movies, you want to leave some lights on so you can see what they're doing. It, yeah. it works absolutely fantastically for that. Yeah, excellent. So here we've got all the equipment running the kit in there. Talk us through some of the, some of the stuff yeah. up here. So in the comms room here, this is our amplification for the room. So at the top here, we've got two of the SA1000 subwoofer amplifiers. So one of these runs two subwoofers. Mm -hmm. And then moving down, we have two of the RMB 1585s, which are five channel power amplifiers. So uh, each of these is running the surround and the surround back and the heights for one side, yep. surround, surround back, heights for the other side. Okay. Now the three amplifiers down the bottom here are actually stereo amplifiers. They're RMB 1590s. They run at about 350 watts per channel. And each one of these we're using to bi-amp the front speakers so we're actually putting 700 watts per channel through those front speakers wow. and we're doing that so we can actually achieve full reference level so sure. when you're sitting in the seating position we can actually achieve full uh, reference level which is about 105 db in fact we far exceed the amount we need so we've got plenty of headroom in there yeah okay excellent and this one okay so over here is the brains of the operation this is the Marantz AV8805 and this has got the processing power to do all of the speakers in our cinema and that's in Dolby Atmos or DTSX Pro and it can also do the IMAX enhanced format as well. So you've had a lot of changes in here, uh, one of them is in the decor, you've got the fabric walls with the speakers behind, talk us through that a little oh, bit. Oh yes, so um, this time around we're using cinema build systems so what we've been able to do is hide absolutely everything mm. so that's from around here we've used the uh, uh, black uh, fabric and then these are halo panels so we're actually adding a little bit of contrast with the LED lights coming down the side there. Yeah looks really good and obviously such a complex system like this requires a certain level of control behind it. Yeah so we're actually using URC's total control system and we can run it from you know an iPhone or an iPad hard button remote control or we've also got a keypad on the wall over there so we can control the whole system. So what do people need to do if they want to come down and see this room? Okay so it's very straightforward if a dealer wants to bring their customers down here or just wants to have a nose for themselves you can either contact the sales team at AWE or you can go online and book straight away from there. Excellent, great and I think uh, a lot of people will be blown away with this room you've done really well so congratulations. Thank you. <laughs>